UC Irvine, UC Irvine School of Law, and Summer Academy of Law for the opportunity and this great honor to come to speak to you today. You know, before I begin, I'm going to add some uh, some additional points that uh, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal uh, provided. As, as she mentioned, my name is Hugo Ivan Salazar. Uh, I was a student here at UC Irvine. So where you're sitting, I was sitting in the same place. After graduation, I, I completed some uh, some interesting work as a researcher for a U.S. State Department out in Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. Afterwards, I was a community organizer, organizing for a number of community activism issues in South San Diego. And just recently, I was a youth advocate here in uh, Orange County. Currently, as Krista mentioned, I'm a second year student at Chapman Law School. But we're not here to talk about you. No, we're here to talk about you and talk about your future. This talk today, is for both you, the student, and your parents. So I'll start with the parents. Primero empezaré con los padres. Quiero felicitarlos y reconocer los padres. Por favor, padres, tomen pie, levántese por favor. get that. 
But the path to success is obviously never easy, right? But one thing is crystal clear that my, pa my parents constantly remind us. Education is the key for your success. And I'll say this as my dad, my mom, constantly here. Mis papás me decían, y continúan de recordarme, como as my older brother will remind us, mijo, no seas inmenso. Posiblemente les han dicho lo mismo, eso sí. Estudia, júntate con gente que es más viva, más inteligente que tú. No seas parte de la bola. Sé un triunfador. Y con, con esas clases de consejos, and with those pieces of advice, that helped me through my next 15 years, my education. The world has changed, and it will continue to do so. See, when I was about your age, as I'm seeing so many iPads and, and cell phones and stuff like that, a cell phone was literally like an iPad. It was this big thing. You may have seen it like on the movies, right? It was this green screened thing that all you can really do is dial and that's it. And if you wanted to listen to music, instead of carrying your iPod or whatever sound thing, you had to carry a book full of CDs. Maybe the kids are looking at me like, what the heck am I talking about, right? But to you, to the older folks, CDs, something was important, right? Now, by contrast, we're fast forwarding to your age, your time. Computers and cell phones are the size of wristwatches. Have you seen those things? They're really small, they're really efficient. Communication and access to information is instantaneous. You can talk to anybody around the world. In a matter of seconds. Now, can you just imagine what the, the role will be like in the next 15 years? When you will be at your position, and you know, either as a prospective law student or a lawyer or, or a doctor or a professor, can you imagine how things will be? So you see where I'm getting at. Things are changing. See, I thought those revolutionary changes from going from the big cell phones to the small cell phones was revolutionary, but that will only be eclipsed by what you will see in the next coming years. But amid all of these changing circumstances, you can tell me that whatever, you know, we have like Lady Gaga likes, you know, flying, you know, uh, what is it, dress, I don't know if you guys heard of that, but she had a dress that she was flying. One thing will remain and continue to be crucial the value of your college education. So as I said, back to my early key theme, amid changing times, education is key. So in order for you to succeed in the coming years, you will need strong writing skills, critical thinking skills, math and science, and you must pick up an additional language, not just one or two, you know, we'll learn Spanish as well, you know, Chinese, Arabic, a number of different, different things, so that we meet the change in demand to the future. And another thing that you will need to pick up is that you must learn about your culture. Tienes que saber de donde eres. Tienes que reconocer quien eres. You may want to call yourself a Chicano, a Latino, whatever you want. But it's hard to have a clear image for the future without knowing your roots, without knowing who you are, without knowing where you, know, you come from and what the sacrifices were for you to get there. And understand, so this understanding is this cultural awareness will give you the motivation that you will need so that when you face those challenges, you'll be able to persevere. So my second point, now that you told me this, let's go to the second point, right? You must seek professional and academic opportunities. As curious and inquisitive students that I know you are, you're wondering, where do I get these things, right? So I'll give you an example. When I was a student here at UCI, perhaps in one of these, these chairs here, or one of the classrooms, I took advantage of many programs that I could find. Tutoring, mentorship, research, whatever it is. 
But in short, one thing that united all those different types of activity, activities was that I was out there knocking doors out of my element. And for many of us who are first generation college students, that's hard. Getting out there and reaching out to these individuals, you know, these, these professors, right, with, you know, I, I don't know, a stereotypical, you know, you know, suit or whatever, it's hard, but you have to do it. So for you, the answer is clear. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Get out of being timid. Get out of being, you know, being worried about what they're gonna say, how you're gonna say, but you gotta get out there. And you gotta ask the counselors, the teachers, the UCI faculty, the SAL faculty, you know, hey, what do I need? Show me the way. I'm here, you know, I'm a canvas, paint me. Now tell me how I need to succeed. And that level of determination is something that I cannot emphasize enough. I understand being a good student and striving to succeed in college is not easy. It's gonna require sacrifice. Here's, you know, the tough part. To succeed, you're gonna ask, you're gonna be asked to forego certain things on life. You're wondering, all right, this guy's gonna tell me to do something, uh, even more things after this whole list? Yes, I am gonna ask you. You're gonna have to skip some quinceañeras. You're gonna have to skip some parties. You're gonna have to skip playing video games. And I say this because, you know, as I have my own nephews and I see kids, I wonder, man, like, they sure play a lot of video games. Right? Maybe some of you, right? But I can assure you, foregoing those activities will pay dividends. It will pay off. So to my third point, you must adapt and persevere. There are many characteristics that define a successful person. Many. But today we're going to highlight a couple. Adapting and persevering. When you go to college, I can assure you, you will face difficult challenges. They're gonna test, test you. They're gonna make you question yourself. Just like me when I was in law school, my first year, you question, you know, am I supposed to be here? Am I good enough? Am I smart enough? But then you start thinking, your ability to persevere and to adapt but it will, will allow you to succeed. For instance, when I was in UCI, I remember I witnessed very bright students, top of their class, valedictorians, who struggled amid the challenges in school, who were shocked because unlike in the past where everything was particularly set forth and they did well, here they were competing with everybody else. It is up to you to develop the motivation, the perseverance, and the ability to adapt to succeed. That is what determines success. Not what you come in with, what teacher will you have? But you gotta have the ganas, the voluntad, to persevere through any particular challenge you're gonna face here. Just imagine what the world will be like in a couple years. We saw, as I told you, like from uh, things translating from iPods to CDs, from from cell phones, can you imagine what it will be in 15 years when you finish high school, when you finish college, when you're starting your career as you know, or in law school or as, as an attorney, doctor, professor? It's imaginable what those changes will be. So that is why you have to develop these skills now, so you can meet the challenges, whatever they may be. You know. And another point, I think that this is important to remember. You must keep going. We all stumble, me included. Nos caemos, todos. Pero tenemos que recogernos, levantarnos y seguir. Ni un paso atrás. Eso es para los padres y para los hijos. Accordingly, I want to emphasize that we all, you guys were all selected to this program because somebody thought you were special because you had potential. I feel the same way. Accordingly, we expect 
many great things for me. Like I said, constant, the thing about this is about constant change, constant change. But the one thing that doesn't change is the value of your education is unwavering. It is your key. And two, it requires that you leave your comfort zone and you get those ganas, that you get that voluntad and seek those opportunities. And thirdly, you have to be able to persevere and to adapt. Because we don't know what's gonna happen in a couple years. But I'll tell you this, the difference between those that succeed and don't is the men and women, which you will be in one day, of those who are able to adapt to those changing circumstances. So, the generation that came before me and came before you, not only were they able to adapt, not only were they able to succeed and make these very difficult times, they were also agents of change. That's right. They were leaders in our community. You, me, we all stand on the shoulders of men and women. Of men and women who fought, who rallied, who protest for you, for me, to have a, a seat and standing here. We cannot forget that. No se les olvide que por lo que estamos aquí es por el sacrificio de muchísima gente que llegó para este punto para estar sentados y estar platicando sobre esto. Es sumamente importante que ustedes, estudiantes, como la próxima generación de líderes, no se les olvide el sacrificio. So, as you're about to embark on your educational journey, I'm going to close up and to give you these following questions to think about. First, where will you be in the next 10 to 15 years? ¿En dónde te encontrarás en los próximos 10 y 15 años? How will you prepare for the challenges you will face in that world? ¿Cómo te prepararás para esos, esas clases de obstáculos en el futuro? And thirdly, what will you do for the next generation? What roles are you going to play? Y terceramente, ¿qué vas a hacer tú para la próxima generación? ¿Qué es tu responsabilidad y qué va a ser para la próxima generación? We all believe in you. Todos creemos, ustedes tenemos confianza y sabemos que vas a triunfar. We know you're going to succeed. Muchísimas gracias. Adelante y si sí se puede.